Welcome back to Adobe Live. How's it going, everyone? I'm Kathleen Illustrated, and I have with me Ryan Lau. Welcome, Ryan. Hi. Thank Yay. you. Thank you for inviting me. Of course. <laughs> We're excited to see what you come up with over these next two hours. So if you are new to the show, what's up? Watch us on Behance. Be.net slash live is the best place to watch us. Uh, make sure that you are participating in the chat, maybe even winning some... <laughs> There's a ghost hand. Maybe even winning some posters or even a free year of Creative Cloud, but we'll get into that later. How's it going, everyone in chat? You can see everyone saying yeah, hi. Yeah, saying hi to me. Thank yes, you. Yes, you only. Not saying hi to me. <laughs> also you, also you. Yeah, what's up, Tim and Ryan? I see a lot of familiar faces. Dana, hello. Very cool. Glad to have you all with us. If you weren't here during Brett's stream, you might not know that we are going to be doing a giveaway in about an hour, so stick around. You can win some awesome posters created by illustrators that were here live in studio making this artwork. You got Mr. T behind you. Is that your <laughs> alter ego? Uh, we've got Robzilla, Jingwei, and Christine Heron's awesome pieces, so stick around for that. And then we also have a contest that we're going to be running during every stream, every two hours. Today's contest is greeting cards. So all you have to do is download the template we have for you at be.net slash live. Click on the contest tab. There's a template. Download it. Open it up in InDesign CC and create a holiday card. That's really all there is to it. And then the rest of the instructions are there. Hello. Megan, yes. Pity the fool. Totally. Awesome. So Ryan, how's it going? Good, good. Yay. This is his first live stream. So everyone, yeah. please be very nice. <laughs> <laughs> Illustrated is not my last name. A.M. I wish it was. <laughs> That'd be very cool. Um, tell us a little bit about yourself. What brings you over here? So um, I am uh, um, come here to share my um, my experience mm -hmm. and also share my uh, workflow, yeah. all this stuff about editorial design, yes, and also graphic design, my experience, my um, some of my education, something mm -hmm. like that. Yeah, definitely. I think Ryan is the most prepared guest um, I've had the pleasure of working with. <laughs> I don't know. I think so. Maybe. Yay! We can maybe hop into some of your uh, work so people can know. Uh, what you've done in the past is this a good project to look at? Yeah, yeah. Awesome. So um, since uh, they we talk about in this free day, we mainly talk about editorial design. Mm -hmm. So this is one of the good projects um, you can look together. Yeah. So this is um, actually I done this a few years ago. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a um, unplug call unplug. Uh, Route magazine. Very cool. It's a magazine editorial design. I did it in the school like a few years ago. Mm -hmm. So um, I just pull up like play around text, typography. Um, I did the logo by myself also. I did um, for the table of content, um, mm -hmm. I struggle a lot of time on yeah. this page. It's complex. It's very complex. Yeah. And I, I, I tried to cut out all these um, pictures. Mm -hmm. By hand? Uh, no, <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> like uh, using uh, Photoshop to get, cut ah, out all of them. Photoshop. And, um, and then putting them into Indes InDesign mm -hmm. and then play around the text mm -hmm. and play around the grid. Um, adding like uh, some small icons, if you can see, it's super tiny right now. Oh, it's even oh. tinier now. <laughs> uh, maybe you can go to my website. Maybe. Sure. What's your website? Um, RyanLauDesign.com. Design.com. Here we go. Internet, don't fail me now. So Whoa. if you go. Um, Hello. <laughs> While he does this, uh, your work is getting a lot of compliments. People love Nirvana. Oh, thank you. I think it's very cool. Yeah, I love rock music, so yeah. that's why I picked this um, uh, awesome. okay. topic. Here we go. So, click. Here we go. It's a little bit bigger, but um. Nice. And you also got a hello from Hong Kong. You're from Hong Kong, right? Yeah, I'm from Hong Kong, so very, cool. uh, very good. All right, here we go. So, yeah. uh, did a lot of type. Did a lot of play around, a lot of great. Mm -hmm. um, I flipped the uh, text, um, flip, flip uh, some, you know, some play around, some um, colors and stuff. Yeah, this is very cool. Yeah, 
So it's more like a TV that that features right, like exactly. a TV. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and Which also, is awesome because Nirvana, you know, it's that classic 90s. Yeah, and this yeah, definitely looks like a, a TV from back then. <laughs> Cool hand lettering. Yeah, I draw it uh, by pen and then mm-hmm. I scan it and then put it there. Very and, uh, cool. Wow. Is this the same thing? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So this is all one magazine that goes together. It's uh, uh, yeah, supposed to be all mm-hmm. inside one magazine. Yeah. And then put around the text and kind of overlapping to the paragraphs. Nice. So it's kind of like having creating the same feeling to the whole overall. Definitely. And you designed the logo also? Yeah, I designed the logo. Wow. This is comprehensive. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, yeah, it took yeah. forever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a lot of times. I, Very cool. I take a lot of time for the table content. That was your hardest one? Yeah. First, um, in the class, my teacher kind of teach me the table of contents very important. Uh-huh. And more like, you. First of all, you have to settle down the style on the table of content first. Mm-hmm. And then after that, you can figure out the rest of them later, kind of matching all the styles right. to the table of content. Interesting. I've never, I didn't know the table of contents was so important. Yeah, to some, to some, yeah. um, maybe. <laughs> yeah, Daniel says, Ryan, this is a fantastic piece. Thank you, thank you. Yes, I totally agree. This is really Really amazing. I'm wondering, all of you in chat, have you ever tried your hand at editorial design or print design of some sort? Let us know your experience. I also see that you're letting us know where you're from. Let us know in chat where you're from. I'm from Ohio. Mm. Brian lives in SF, but he's from Hong Kong. (laughs) The UK, yes, very cool. I saw Saudi Arabia earlier. And it is interesting because the chat is about 30 seconds delayed. Oh. So in about 30 seconds, we'll okay. have a flood. Okay. <laughs> we got Colombia, there you go, Brazil, Indonesia, Miami, Washington State, Newfoundland, Mexico, Chicago, Lithuania, very cool, Dallas, Denver, all over the world. Wow. Mm-hmm. Amazing. Thank you all for Thank you. Thank you. Yep, hanging out with us. We've got Ryan for about two more hours. About an hour in, we'll do a giveaway, so stick around for that. And maybe we can jump into what you're going to be working on today. So um, over the three days, mm-hmm. um, thinking to make um, um, a brand, but it's not it's not real. Mm-hmm. So it's like a It fake could be. Brand. <laughs> so uh, it's about... a camera accessory mm. so like uh, the brand will be selling more like a backpack for holding the camera right. and also maybe tripod more like um, and maybe other accessory yeah. like stabilizer that kind of thing yeah so um, we'll, we'll be about that cool so today we can't get that done in three days or one day so what not, we'll be doing today not done yeah. <laughs> today <laughs> Uh, probably um, focusing on the logo mm-hmm. and maybe about the color type, uh, the symbol, the work mm-hmm. mark, something like that. And then later on, uh, tomorrow and on the third day, the last day, we'll be focusing more about the editorial design. Cool. So uh, imagine the book, I'm going to make a book, is more like about 10 years anniversary oh. about the brand something like that 10 year anniversary maybe. i like it there's some depth <laughs> to this design and actually before we get jumped in maybe we can use the gopro and look at the actual process book that you brought because this isn't only digital this is also you want to look at the whichever one you want to look at well um <laughs> there's i bring some of them he's got a satchel over here with like 30 books in it know. no not 30, <laughs> but get a four or five <laughs> so maybe maybe i will talk about this one yeah come on over this one's a so the gopro is right here and if you just put it right there cool so <laughs> that's in that's how my teacher tell us to do you know mm-hmm. um, in the school whenever we finish a um, project and we have to make a process book Mm -hmm. about the process. So this one is about, um, if you can look at our website, uh, my Behance or like my Mm -hmm. portfolio, this one is called Akitopia. 
Ooh, Artopia. Very so cool. So more like architecture stuff. <laughs> this is like story time. So Reading a just like book. looking at it very quickly. So this one's actually Arctopia. Mm -hmm. We come up with the name uh, more like me and my wife. Oh, cool. <laughs> Architect and plus Utopia. Yeah. So Arctopia. Perfect. So this one is a T. If you guys can see yeah. T and then A. So, and also this form like a 3D um, sort of like form. Yeah, definitely. That's awesome. And you have um, experience with architecture and 3D forms. Yeah, this this one actually I done this like way before oh, I, see. I get into that job. Mm -hmm. um, could talk about it um, later. Maybe this one we just look for it and gotcha. we can talk about. A that. lot of people are wondering what the size of this is. Is this eleven by seventeen? Yeah, this is eleven by seventeen. Mm -hmm. These are like some uh, images. Like inspiration. Wood board. Ah, uh, wood board. And then like um, target audience, and then some. Um, names, some mm -hmm. um, brand drivers, like more like keywords and mm -hmm. stuff, and then like some sketches. I think this project is mainly about like, a poster. Uh-huh. Um, it's more like an um, uh, architecture lecture, gotcha. lecture. Mm -hmm. And then this is more like some poster with some, a lot of drafts. Yeah. Explore. A lot of work goes into such a simple yeah. thing. So it's more like I spend a lot of time on the logo. Mm -hmm. And also, if you look at previously, these are like some layout for the poster. Nice. And finally, there's a lot of, a lot of <laughs> things. No, it's and interesting finally, to see. Finally, we go to this one mm -hmm. with the T and A. Me and my teacher, and then also my classmate loved it, and then um, make a, like a very simple uh, style guy. Yeah. More like fonts, uh, different version of the logo, um, or like the work mark or something. So um, there's more about the poster, and finally we settle down on this. Mm -hmm. It's more like a big logo. You have a kind of like a shadow thing. Yes. And we love this one, but um, when I printed out on the actual size, mm -hmm. I think it's 13 by 19. I, I don't quite remember. Mm -hmm. uh, done it a while ago. And then this one, and then when, after I printed out and realized all these fonts are too big. Yeah. So, and then I have to go back Oh, cool. And then do some more modification. And then I think this one is the last one. Yeah, the final, final poster. Mm -hmm. Then, you know, put this, all this stuff. And then QR code, you know, um, date, name, and this is the logo. And mm -hmm. then add like a picture of it. And it's just like a big size. Right. That's really interesting that you couldn't tell that the type was too big until you printed it out. Yeah, a lot of time on, it happens a lot of time in mm -hmm. print design, like in printing. Uh, we, oftentimes we have to print um, actual size. Mm -hmm. No matter you do um, poster, um, prints, uh, magazine, mm -hmm. or whatever. Yeah. yeah, it's good to see things in context of what they actually are gonna be. Yeah. Ooh, my arm's tired <laughs> from holding this <laughs> tiny GoPro. <laughs> uh, yeah, you've had it was a process book for a project you did in school, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. in school. <laughs> Daniel says you should make film posters. <laughs> yeah, they were comparing your work to Saul Bass's work. Very, very similar. Okay, thank you. Yeah, Wayne Smith makes uh, an observation saying editorial design has become pretty simplistic. More about throwing a sans serif font over an image and less about art direction. How do you feel about that? Do you feel like it's too simple? Um, I feel like that's a good thing? Uh, sometimes simple is good. Mm -hmm. And sometimes it depends on, I think it depends on um, different projects. Because mm -hmm. yeah. uh, some projects also about the client. Yeah. Well, when I'm still in school, I'm just doing whatever I like. Yeah. So I just like, oh, simple stuff, do you like whatever I like. Mm -hmm. But in client, on the, on the, um, professional, uh, when you're doing actual work for a client, mm -hmm. they will give you a lot of opinions mm -hmm. about your work. Yeah. Oh, I'm thinking it's too simple, it's mm -hmm. not very interesting, they would love to do this, do that. 
and probably at that time we'll have to do more complex mm -hmm. thing, more like some um, movie poster, you yeah. put a lot of things in here and then yeah. you do a lot of effect, putting different characters. Yeah, I love those. Like, yeah, I, I love those too. I, I, mm -hmm. Yeah, and then do you like fonts or other things. Mm -hmm. So uh, I don't think it's only simplicity. Yeah. Sometimes it and also sensory. A lot of time people do service also. Right. Um, Definitely. And I it's a trend right now. The simple is what people like, so maybe more clients will ask for that now. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> <You're> like, <laughs> depends. <no. laughs> so it depends. So yeah, I love. I know a lot of people love sensory also. I love. Mm -hmm. I love sensory also because it's modern. It feel like modern. Uh, so if it sometimes gives you very um, classic looking, mm -hmm. not very new, right. like an old feeling. Yeah. Like sensory always gives you a new, or like tacky, mm -hmm. or like, you know, some yeah. good feeling. Agreed. Agreed. I'm a Serif fan myself, yeah. <laughs> but that's just me. Very cool. That was awesome. I'm so glad you brought in those process books. I think everyone in chat really enjoyed it too. And I hope you're feeling inspired to get working on your holiday cards while Ryan kind of jumps into what he's going to work on today. Awesome. Okay. Let's see it. How do you start? What is your process? So, um... Very organized. I appreciate that. I think not this one. <laughs> Oh, nice. Do you uh, full screen? Um, all the way at the bottom. Oh, sorry. No, that's right. <laughs> so, this one is called, we, I name it, me and my wife name it Polar. <laughs> mm -hmm, I like that. So, Polar, uh, as I mentioned before, is about uh, selling camera accessories. Mm -hmm. So, like, Polar, like, I like this name. How did you? Polo, like um, have a feeling of camera and also um, not post out for outdoor. Yeah, thing. definitely. So Polo, you know, probably everyone know Polaroid. Mm -hmm, yeah, the, the Polaroid. Brand. Yep. So it, it have a feeling of camera mm -hmm. and then Polo like South Pole, North Pole or like, you know, whatever um, um, outdoor feeling. And that's why I picked this name. And this is like a very brief um, I feel like I need to get out of the way so people can that's see fine. it. That's fine. <laughs> so just simply saying is that this is about uh, selling camera accessory, mm -hmm. uh, backpack, or like a um, uh, tripod, whatever. Mm -hmm. And then the target audience will be more like 25 to 45. So more like people who um, graduated gotcha. and then they have money, probably they have the camera already. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So they need um, a backpack or something that to right. protect uh, their camera equipment. Yeah, it's when an they go investment. Out. And then also they more like love to go hiking, camping, outdoor activities, and mm -hmm. more important, they love photography. Yeah. So um, these are the target audience. So like, and then the keywords brand driver would say you know outdoor, uh, all weathers, uh, tough protection, camera. Uh, durable, high quality. Mm -hmm. So these are like some um, um, keywords for that. Yeah, that's great. So, so how did you come, how did you get to this point? Did you make a, a visual map? Did you just write lists? Because this is seems like very uh, cohesive. How did you start? So at first I, um, I come up with, um, I just have a rough idea. Mm -hmm. Because it happens when first um, Michael find me. Oh yeah. <laughs> and then uh, uh, that time actually I'm going uh, I'm going with my wife to Dev Valley. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a national um, uh, park in California. Mm -hmm. And me and my wife driving, uh, probably just me that time, and driving and I'm thinking, what if we do something about outdoor? hiking because yeah. me and my wife love traveling, yeah. driving around, mm -hmm. um, take picture, more like taking picture of her. <laughs> <laughs> She's a good subject. And also taking picture of the nature. We love uh, seeing um, the nature. So I, I do, uh, and then at that time I make a decision to do something 
related to that. Yeah. So I come up with this idea about um, uh, doing a brand about camera, mm -hmm. um, uh, selling camera accessories. Right. And then from there, and then I wrote something. Um, it's um, I assume myself is the client, so I write something um, about uh, more. This one is more like a creative uh, brief. Yeah. Um, usually people will get it like a better size or like regular format. Yeah. I'll just make it horizontal so yeah. it's easier for you guys to see. Yeah, you're a designer, that's good. So, um, it's just very, <laughs> it's, it's uh, very simple. Mm -hmm. um, I make it, um, and then the thing about the company background, objective, think about the target audience, um, and also like keywords and stuff. Mm -hmm. And then from that, we're gonna go to, um, like images Ooh. research, mm -hmm. so I do some. Um, it's like a mood board thing, yeah. and then I like uh, some of them. I like the the I think the, the woodland. Yeah, I love the logo. It's more like forest tree. Yeah, and also um, some kind of, but it's also very modern. It I is love modern. That. Yeah, and then um, there's like the lions at the bottom. Mm -hmm. I love it, and mm -hmm. then. There's some other fonts. Some some of them are more organic, more like round. True. And then um, I love all of them. And then this gives me some more ex um, inspiration. Yeah. And then these are some images about like what kind of company that is. Right. So like selling camera equipment. So you see people wearing the camera thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And like a holster. They, they hold the uh, the tripod. They're going everywhere. Mm -hmm. Um. So maybe we can go back to your inspiration pages. How oh. do you go about finding these images? What's your process? So usually I just go to Google. Google, you know, nice. Google it. Mm -hmm. What do you Google? I Google, um, sometimes I Google, um, so for this one, for the polar, mm -hmm. I Google camera, Yeah. I Google hiking, mm -hmm. camping. So it's back to the keywords, I right. Google all these. Mm -hmm. And then also hiking, camping, outdoor activities, camera, um, and then also I do hiking, camping, uh, camera. Yeah, you know, like together. Together, mm -hmm. and then probably you get a lot of uh, images. Yeah. And also logo, and also logo, but at the end. Right, right. And then you get all the logos. That's great. And also I get, I sometimes I research it, research on um, Pinterest? Yeah, I love Pinterest for so, reference. So, um, I do a lot of research on that website also. Mm -hmm. Nice. I'm wondering in chat, how do you all find your reference? I use Pinterest, you use Google. I find that Google usually gives me things that I don't want to see. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's so much uh, content. Pinterest is good. Behance is really good yeah, for Behance. finding reference too. But I like how you use Google because you can find things that aren't graphic design that will still inspire you. Yeah. That's really cool. Because I, I, I do a lot of research on Pinterest also. Mm -hmm. um, and then sometimes it's just giving me a lot of results that um, I've looked through all of them. Yes. Because it's not enough, like looking just one page, not mm -hmm. enough for me. I'll just keep looking on go Forever. To, yeah, Google. Yeah. Because uh, I do a lot of, uh, for me, I have to do a lot of image research. Mm -hmm before I have some sort of idea mm -hmm. in my mind to, do, to yeah. start doing the design. Right, definitely. I feel like I've seen every image on Pinterest. <laughs> I used to work, I used to design t-shirts and we use Pinterest mainly kind of as like our reference mm. pool and I've seen it all. Like even some of these, I'm like, yep, seen it. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy. All right, everybody in chat saying they use Dribble. Mm, uh, deviant yeah. art, nice. Yeah. Behance, Pinterest, definitely. Nice, everyone. Glad that you are using reference because it's very important. All right, on to the rest. So after this page, mm -hmm. and then I also. Oh, oh cool. Oh, Sigma is so weird. Uh, <laughs> what happened to you, Sigma? So. Oh. Oops, oops, whoa, oops, whoa, oops. whoa. Sorry. So, <laughs> okay. um, for some reason the logo doesn't appear right. But um, uh, I also look at all the uh, other existing brands mm -hmm. that have, um, that produce uh, these 
you know, camera related products. Mm -hmm. So some of them are selling、um, a lens. So then some of them selling camera or like a tripod,、uh, backpack and stuff.、Mm -hmm. So、um, yeah, the color shouldn't be that, but、um, <laughs> that's alright.、Yeah. Uh, so from this this part, we can let's go back to this page maybe. And then I <clears throat> and then I start drawing logos. Gotcha. So、Did、I did you draw, actually draw some? Yeah, I spent some time. Cool. Draw some logo. Let's hop back over to the GoPro. So, It's a good workout. Yeah. So there's、uh, usually what I do is to use、um, tracing paper. Say hello to yourself. Hello. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> so I use、um, tracing paper,、mm -hmm. and then we trace. I trace.、Um, I print some.、Um, print some、um, images. Oh, nice. Like, because polo,、so、I think of polar bear. So, yeah. You no, know, print some. Sorry for the printing. <laughs> That's all right. So,、um, finally, I print out a lot of different um, um, images of polar bear. And then I start chasing. And then chasing it, and then give me some thought. I think, I remember this one. This one is this one.、Mm -hmm. Like this one. Yeah. Which one for this one? This one is. This oh, one. I see. This one.、Mm -hmm. And then there's some. Some of them have the joy. This oh, like maybe I like this one.、Mm -hmm. And then I use another chasing paper and I put on top of it. Oh. Joy again. I go、mm -hmm. back, back and forth. Yeah. That's why it's all over the place. I love this. Very、uh, yes. analog. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because、um, often time, to me,、uh, the computer. Um, I always draw before going to the computer、mm. for a logo. Right. For、uh, editorial or other stuff, I just probably go to the computer directly. Mm -hmm, But mm -hmm. logo or like symbols and stuff, I always go for、um, um, actually hand drawing the logo,、yeah. mm -hmm. the、uh, symbol, and also the work mark or whatever.、Mm -hmm. And then I draw tons of tons of these, and then. And then Yeah. Awesome! It's cool to see the iteration. It gets more and more cohesive. This is how a designer's desk should look. <laughs> Very messy.、Sometimes. Yeah, messy tracing paper, <laughs> paper cuts. Very noisy yellow colors. Yes, that would be definitely cool. So, and after that point, and then we come up. I come up with different、um, logo. Wow. So there is some of them,、um, all of them called polar, and then I draw some of、um, these are like polar bear. This、mm -hmm. idea, the 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 symbol. Right. So polar bear, they are more like running or like have a feeling of running.、Mm -hmm. And then the bottom right one is、uh, I play around the work mark. Yeah. So like P O L A R, but this one.、Uh, yeah. Thinking about erasing the R, but. <laughs> yeah. Not so working, right? So there's another thing. This Ooh, one, very clean.、Um, try something more simple, but also playing around the idea of polar bear.、Mm -hmm. So like B O L A R, play around the、um, the font, the 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 kerning, and also the the checking. Yeah. And also play around the the symbol. I use different circle. Try to match it, make it more. Um, like a, you know, arch. Right. Yeah. Somebody said in chat that they really like the logo in the square that you had. This, this. Yeah, yeah. those yeah. one in the bottom right. I love it also. <laughs> I like <laughs> it. And also oh, cool. this one this. also、um, some more drawing about the polar bear.、Mm -hmm. So it's like a、um, I go from this one kind of like、um, this doesn't look really like polar bear. Right. Go to make it try.、Um, Try make it more look like a, yeah a polar bear, and then try these, and these have a better、um, movement. Totally, very friendly. So I I make it like a, on a slope,、mm -hmm. and then try B O L A, and then match it, put it on the. These are this font like, <laughs> this this type.、Right. I haven't modified yet, so. Oh, it looks like a little hand drawn, like you you did modify it, but yeah, I modified, but I haven't finished the.、Mm. Modification. It's at first it's more like a little bit、um, 
italic, mm -hmm. but like make it more italic. Yeah. And then I haven't finished all the modification. Wow. I just play around it just to try out the idea first. Uh -huh. And then um, finally I come to this one. Ooh, very this different. This one's uh, it's called is 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 this one is actually another idea mm -hmm. based on the um it's like this, an aperture. A uh, snow house. Oh, an oh, igloo. Saw, the igloo, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. So it's like igloo. So uh, I'm thinking that this one, um, the reason I make this idea is because it's more like a protection. It's a house. Yeah. So it's like protect you. Yeah. Protect your camera. Definitely. So I love this idea more mm -hmm. than um, the others. Right. Because I sort of feel like these are good. I don't. I I love this. Mm hmm But um, these are. Uh, just pull up there. Yeah, it doesn't mean much. <laughs> doesn't, doesn't represent the camera yeah. thing too much. Um, maybe some clients will love these. Maybe, um, yeah. I, I, yeah. The chat loves it. <laughs> They're all picking their favorites. <laughs> but I really do. This also looks like the aperture of a camera. Yeah, like yeah, the little yeah. eye that opens and closes. Very cool. Wow, people are wondering how long, how long has what you've shown us, how long did that take you? All of the work you've so, done so far. So, um, because uh, I have a daytime job, mm -hmm. so I work part timely, but I come go to the office like uh, every day, but I didn't spend eight hours mm -hmm. on the every day, but I work. Uh, so probably it spent me about a week. Wow! So just like in the evenings. So evenings and also weekends. Yeah. And I draw. Sometimes I take a rest because when you draw too much and then kind of don't know where yeah. the direction going mm -hmm. yeah. and um, these these are like these take me a lot of time to draw I couldn't get these right mm -hmm. I just keep stucking into the polar bear idea yeah. keep drawing keep drawing keep drawing yeah they're cute and then I love these but it's a, it doesn't represent mm -hmm. uh, the company and finally I come up with this one actually I come up this one like yesterday yeah of course it's always <laughs> the last one yeah You're like oh <laughs> okay then go with this one so yeah. i like this one right daniel wants to know how do you know when it's the right one how did you know this was what you wanted um so um for me for this one if i'm a client mm -hmm. so i go back to the creative brief mm -hmm. so you look at the keywords right oh where how this logo related to the keywords because oh. that is the important part right so you it's not it's not only about the appearance mm -hmm. it's not about only about good looking it's mm -hmm. more about representing the company yeah so like oh this feel like more um protection mm -hmm. camera or outdoor while this one is just maybe outdoor or like mm -hmm fashion brand or yeah. cute brands or like that other. could be anything yeah it could be anything mm -hmm. so and that's why I picked that one mm -hmm. but oftentimes you um, present these to the client mm -hmm. and sometimes clients maybe just th they think that this one look more interesting right and then it's good enough for them mm -hmm. sometimes so it depends on also depends on different clients right definitely so when you are even uh, getting started with a client, do you show them the mood board you created? Um, or is that more just for yourself? Um, I'll say um, from my experience, mm -hmm. I didn't show them the mm -hmm. mood board. Yeah. For me, I do do my mood board. And then um, it depends on the, the how big is the client, mm -hmm. I think. If you do if you need to do a big presentation mm -hmm. like it lasts for two minutes or like five minutes ten yep. minutes probably you need a, a a page about the image research right um and if it's like a small client and then you just need to send them different job for mm -hmm. the logo probably they don't care about that right so it depends on the project yeah and um it, showing them too much might be a bad thing yeah. they might go off on a tangent and um, it makes your job harder sometimes if you show them <laughs> a little too much. <laughs> yeah. All right, Joshua wants to know, do you show the client all of the logos or do you just show them the one that you like? Um, sorry. That's all right. So um, 
In fact, I didn't show you guys all the logos. <laughs> no? So oh, you I have pick, more? Yeah, I picked I pick the good goodness. ones. I picked the good ones mm -hmm. here. There are a lot of them are terrible <laughs> and not good looking. Mm -hmm. So I would say I would just pick um, the the logos that you like mm -hmm. and you think is uh, good enough to show the client. Yeah. And then you sort of have to give them a few different directions. Yeah. So um, these, because actually this one, this one, this one, three of them actually the same direction, polar bear, uh -huh. but just different style. Right. So right. if you approach to a client, you probably have to narrow it down to maybe three directions. Mm -hmm. So that it's easier for the clients to, to, to know, mm -hmm. to understand, oh, this one is more like polar bear. And mm -hmm. then this one is more like the, uh, the, the e Igloo, mm -hmm. yeah. Igloo, and then this one is maybe other things, mm -hmm. camera or like other things. Gotcha. So it's easy for the client to mm -hmm. understand. Oh, okay, I get this direction. It's yeah. like blue, red, or whatever. Yeah. And this one's maybe green. Mm -hmm. So it's, it helped them make the decision. Because mm -hmm. um, sometimes, because oftentimes, client they hire you because they don't know too much about graphic design. Right. But they trust you, mm -hmm. and they know that you are talented and then want to uh, get some advice from mm -hmm. you guys and then they, if they don't know graphic design too much too many logos too many symbols yeah very confusing for right them. and they might pick one just because it's blue yeah and it's like oh yeah, yeah. i don't know about yeah. that <laughs> <laughs> yeah they just pick it oh i like the um, color that's mm -hmm. it gotcha so show them what you like show them what uh, won't confuse them very cool. Omar wants to know how long does it take to create a logo from start to finish specifically? So you you say like a week? That's how long it's taken you to do this? Um, it's not specific on, um, it depends on different jobs, I mm -hmm. think. Uh, the logo, uh, sometimes it, it depends on the client, how many time, how much time they can, they allow you to do it. Mm -hmm. uh, Often time at jobs, uh, come to you, they will say, oh, I give you one month to yeah. finish it. Right. Or like they give you half a year or like two years. Yeah. Not, not two years. <laughs> That's a really big project. <laughs> it's like a movie. <laughs> yeah, like half a year, a few months. Mm -hmm. uh, Often time, like a few months. But, um, and then we, uh, as a designer, freelance designer, we just have to give them uh, like a proposal mm. and say, oh, how many rounds of ed uh, edit editing? Right. We can do like usually three or four times, right. and then that's it. Because um, uh, and then you set up like a one one time fee, mm -hmm. and it's just like free. Right. And then additional, you have to pay more, something yeah. like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's smart. I wonder in chat if you have any questions about um, that actual process of showing them and how many times you can go back and forth. Because uh, that's not something you really teach in school. It's something. Yeah, you yeah, I, I learned it in a hard way. In a hard way. <laughs> I, often time I struggle about doing if it's doing hourly rates or like, hourly. like mm -hmm. one one uh, fee yeah. for the whole, whole project. Right. And then um, I ask my teacher and teacher maybe we should do hourly rates. Mm -hmm. And I look at other place and then another teacher tell me do a fixed rate. So what did you decide? And then personally I like I I, I think uh, a fixed rate will help the client to make the decision easier. Ah uh, yeah. Because they just know, oh, I have a budget of mm -hmm. like 3000 Yeah. I would just have to pay you 2000 to do it mm -hmm. and then 1000 in in case you have to do something more. More, right. And then the, that's the budget. They would just think it. Because oftentimes they just have a, um, they, all the concern is not only about getting a good logo, mm -hmm. it's also about their budget. Yeah. So if you do hourly rates, um, they may not, um, they may not have a clear mind about how many, how much money they can yeah. they spend on right. you, right. that kind of thing. Definitely. So. That's really helpful. I had no idea. I'm more of on a illustration background, so oh. I wasn't sure how yeah. you did it with uh, logos sure and such. Yeah, I'm not either. <laughs> <laughs> it's the same thing. You, you get to decide um, what you want to do. Cool. So. Stepping back into this, it looks like you're already done. So what are it's we not, gonna do today? It's, it's not. It's not done. <laughs> okay. So actually, I, I still see some um, some issue mm -hmm. on the logo. 
So after I pick this one, I'll have to think about. So often time when I do a logo, I have to think about what is the proportion、mm. about the symbol and also the work mark. Gotcha. So、um, I as I found I found a interesting theory online. Oh. It's not it's not theory, but let me see. So if I let me see. And while you're opening that, I just want to remind you, chat, that we do have a giveaway in 20 minutes. You could be the proud owner of three magnificent posters that were created here live in the studio.、Um, and then make sure that you are working on your holiday card submissions. So you have about, oh, I don't know, 50 minutes left to get your holiday cards done. We'll look at them in a bit.、Uh, Ryan will pick his favorite, and the winner will win a free year of Creative Cloud. That's amazing. All right, you found it. So, so for I, I personally I like this one's. It looks simpler,、mm -hmm. and I love the fonts. Right. And say. So I found、um, I found a thing called. I mean, there there's already talk about it.、Um, a lot of. People already know this、uh, golden ratio.、Mm, yeah. So golden ratio or like specific other ratio,、um, not no other ratio yet. But、yeah. there's golden ratio. <laughs> a lot of people using golden ratio on their、um, logo design. Right. So if I type in log、uh, golden ratio, you do images, you see all these、right. you know,、um, golden ratio. And it helps you, you know, like this one, like Twitter,、mm -hmm. do the logo you're saying,、uh, golden ratio, and it helps you. It's more like a guide for you, so that it can help you design what part, what's the proportion of different、mm -hmm. parts of your logo. Right. And also maybe do you, you can look at Apple using Apple. Logo golden ratio. Oh, interesting. So everyone know Apple. Right. So in fact, they also using all this arch. Yeah. This and also all these are related to、wow. golden ratio. Mind blown. So <laughs> it's very interesting to me.、Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I, so when I first know it, I was oh so awesome.、Mm -hmm. I have to use it on my next logo. <laughs> so, <laughs> so that's why I I try to use it.、Uh, So and also, I think、um, Pepsi or something, or, or some other brand also use these. Yeah.、Um, there's a lot of logo using this one. Let's see what comes up. Wow. Toyota.、I've、yeah, Toyota. There you go. <laughs> so、um, Pepsi. Oh, BP. Oh, like National, National Geographic. Geographic. Yep. So all of these logo using、um, golden ratio,、mm -hmm. and I try to use it. In here,、oh, that's what I'm trying to do. So, uh, nice. uh, for me, I would just download a. See. <laughs> Where did your doc go?、Oh, okay. There you go. I'll just have to download. <laughs> Michael says Paul Tranny's face is based on the golden <laughs> ratio too. <laughs> is it? Have we tested this? <laughs> It's amazing. I think. Let's see. So I just download this one from online.、Mm -hmm. So this help you. It's like a golden ratio, and it's like bigger circle. Is I have a relationship,、mm -hmm. and then what I do probably do, I put it. Yeah, this is a new computer, so it's kind of like、oh. gotta set it up for what you need. I should have done that before. I should have done that before. <laughs> no, it's okay. <laughs> I'm trying to find、um, the layer thing. Oh, um, you might want to. You could just、layer. do reset, or there you go. Is it the layer? Layers are down at、oh. the bottom next to artboards. Okay. And I know that all of us, everyone in chat, me included, have done this, and uh, 
an Adobe product, just looked around for things, ended up going to the search bar and just searching for it. Yeah. <laughs> it's tough. So I put it here, and then you're gonna block it. And draw different circle. L is the shortcut key for oh, circle. Mm -hmm. And control different circle here. Oh, I see. And somebody in chat said that they see the golden ratio being used a lot mm. recently, and sometimes people use it almost like um, kind of in a fake way. Like they'll mm. overlay circles on top of their design, but it's clear that they didn't actually design it that way. <laughs> they just want to kind of follow the trend. So I, I agree with you, Hector. It can be a gimmick. Definitely. So, um, I think that um, how to use the golden ratio is more like um, when you have a good design. Definitely. First, and then you try to, um, try to match it with golden ratio. Yeah, it's not rebuild like, it. Uh, it's hard, it's hard, very hard to do mm -hmm. um, golden ratio. But uh, at first, and then do something about the circles. Mm -hmm. It's very hard to do it. Right, right, definitely. Munir is a big fan of golden ratios. You designed some logos using it. That's awesome, Munir. Nice. Mm-hmm. Got a pro. So. I'm also very impressed with you, chat. We have some amazing submissions coming in. Very nice. excited to show these. Are you excited to see them? Yeah, yeah. You have to make a very hard decision and pick a winner. <laughs> it's probably the hardest part about your job this week. Yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, like, I'll try to match it. Oh. <laughs> oh, I see. Interesting. Oh, Jonathan Hunter, you are in luck. So you say these live streams are really interesting. Are we planning on doing more? Stick around every week at be.net slash live. This is a weekly show, uh, Tuesday through Thursday, 9 to 5 p.m. Pacific time. And we're doing giveaways and contests. So make sure you stick around. You can check out the schedule to see what's uh, going on this week. You can find out about future streams. And you can also check out the info tab and find out about the hosts and the uh, designers for this week. Glad that you are enjoying it. <laughs> Somebody's having fun with our backgrounds. <laughs> Very fun. Fun job you have over there. Oh, nice. So I see you're using two layers. Yes. Why do you, um, how do you use them? So, um, Oftentimes here I have I have my um, sort of like panels. Mm -hmm. um, there's <laughs> I set it up by my 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 preferences that time. Now it's because this one is a new computer, so yeah. it doesn't have the thing that right, I right. usually in order. Well, like usually like mm -hmm. here, but I the reason I using two layers mm -hmm. is because um, it's easier for me to click it, turn on it, turn off it to gotcha. see, see the differences. So you put kind of your template on one layer and then the actual things you're working with on another? Yeah. Gotcha. So like, so, um, for, for like uh, some, when you, for example, when you do um, finish the design mm -hmm. and you're ready to print. Yeah. And then over time for, uh, for like editorial design or like some other design, whatever design you mm -hmm. want. So this one, probably people have to do template here. Right. And then you put info or something here. Right. And then you do all the all cutting lines, uh, bleed line, mm -hmm. whatever. Mm -hmm. And then here will be so that they will not print this layer. Yeah, and you can easily here. turn it on and off. Yeah. Gotcha. And artwork or something. So, um, I just love doing this way so that it's easy for me to turn on and off. Yeah, definitely. So, like. Oh, you're right, chat. No stream next week. <laughs> the week after that, in the new year, 2018, we coming at you with some Adobe Live. 
Does anybody have a uh, holiday plans? Do you have holiday plans? Um, probably go um somewhere. Yeah, but, somewhere. Um, it's a secret. <laughs> but uh, we, me and my wife, haven't decided yet. Mm -hmm. So um, it's getting close. Um, yeah, it's already too late to buy any flight, <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> any, yes. any, any airplane ticket because mm -hmm. it's too expensive. Oh yeah, right now. Tell me about it. We just bought uh, plane tickets and it was painful. <laughs> if we didn't have if we didn't have points, it would have been a lot worse. Yeah. <laughs> Boo Stewart's gonna go back home to Scotland. Dana has some family coming. That's awesome, Dana. What's up, Robzilla? I see you. How you doing? So, because golden ratio is a ratio between two lengths, so that's why you have to use a lot of in a pair. Oh, okay. So like, you have to use these and these together. Gotcha. And then this one's more like this. Oh, interesting. And this one, this. So you have to this. by size. So it's um. Some of them, um, I'm not very strict to this. Yeah. <laughs> so I have to do, uh, for example, this one, this one is this one's the same size. This one and this one's the same mm -hmm, size. Mm -hmm. And then this one, this one, this one is the same size. Gotcha. So this one have to match these. The reason this one is matching this line. This yeah. one is matching this line. Mm -hmm. This one probably have to match. I'm thinking to match it with the. For length. Oh, okay. Fine. Oh. So maybe you do some. Should have the fine. <laughs> but, um, probably do something. Like. Yeah, make sure it all fits inside of there. Ooh. I also have to do with the. Do the dimension. Diameter. Uh huh. Because these are like diameter. These. Oh, right. And this mm -hmm. is the golden ratio. Right, right, right. And this and this is the golden ratio. So this, this line, maybe golden ratio to probably like maybe this. Uh-huh. So probably I have to do some more on the circle. Maybe somehow this line match up with this. Hmm. It's a lot of thinking that goes into this. Yeah, um, <laughs> sometimes not necessary. <laughs> to, no? Because <laughs> uh, sometimes overthinking. True. Yeah, sometimes it's, it's not. Sometimes it's innate within you. You just, you know when you know. And it's just, Golden Ratio is just a guide. So it's not like you have to follow everything. Right. To the, to the logo. So, and actually, I have a R, like a uh -huh. copyright <laughs> mark. So, because it's a real brand. <laughs> <laughs> we assume it as a real brand. Yeah, I treat it like it's real. It's great. So, like, probably need another circle because it's too small. Maybe. Maybe. It's pretty little. But you don't want the you know, the trademark to be the first thing you look at. Yeah. Sometimes it's good to keep it uh, small. Mm-hmm. And then um, sometimes you have to be big enough so that people know it. So Yeah, don't steal it. So when you do style guy probably you have to do uh, certain um, certain certain time. Or like certain situation, certain uh -huh. situation, you have to do it. Maybe the mark is bigger. Yeah, right. Like if it's like tiny, tiny, it's just like a dot. Mm -hmm. and you can see the right. copyright mm -hmm. copy, copyright uh, mark. It's not, it's not good. Right. So you have to make it bigger, maybe. Right. Or like if you big, do it like a wall graphics, like super big the logo, <laughs> and then the the trademark you cannot be like. Right. Big. So yeah. Big, small. So sometimes they say that logo can't be smaller than a certain size or bigger than a certain size too. Yeah. So that's that's 
how how we need to do it on style guide mm-hmm. and how uh, so that other um, the client or the uh, future graphic designer they will know it how to use it. Yeah, definitely. In chat, have you all ever worked with a kind of style guide or a, a brand guide? I'd be very interested. Adobe has a very large style guide, <laughs> very comprehensive. So this is a draft right now. Oh, wait, I didn't think so. Okay. <laughs> so compared to this, let me scale it. <laughs> Matthias, you heard someone open a beer? A Coca-Cola beer? Thanks to Michael Shez. <laughs> We're dangerous. We like to have our open cans next to all of the expensive <laughs> tools. So, compared to these... Ah! So these two already... Let's put it in, a, in here, let's say. So... To me, I like the bottom one better. Uh huh. That was the first one. Oh, and the second a, one. Yeah, this is the first one. Yeah. So this one feel like this part is too big. Right. And also the mark is like big. Mm-hmm. So maybe this one, I can put it somewhere. I don't know. Yeah. And I love the proportion like here. To yes, here. it feels good. So um, maybe I have to do some more. I don't know. I'm not sure yet. Hmm, what do you think, chat? Which one do you like better? I agree, the bottom one. There's just something that feels innately um, more golden about it. Oh, people are saying that they love style guides. CC Libraries is a great way to um, organize your style assets. So true. Somebody makes a living making style guides. Wow, small world. It's amazing. Maybe you have some tips on uh, that you can share with us. Eric says the bottom looks great. Bottom, yes, feels more balanced. So you succeeded with your gold ratio. <laughs> yeah. Yay! Thank you very much. <laughs> oh, of course, Rob has to be the only one who says the top. To each their own, Rob. To each their own. So it also depends. So. Yeah. yeah. Definitely. Um, just something next time whenever you guys do a logo or any design you can try a golden ratio mm-hmm. uh, you can also try it on um, poster or like um, editorial design or like website or mm-hmm. whatever you can try um, the golden ratio yeah or like probably there are other type of ratio yeah outside definitely uh, currently i just know golden ratio yes are there any <laughs> other ratios mo- most popular definitely right um so um, we can try and also here this gap we can also fit in also maybe golden ratio to here oh. maybe here to here maybe we can do a lot of things maybe here we can do something else nice. like this gap maybe mm-hmm. we can do try I don't know I'm not sure so um, so they could be on and on forever mm-hmm. but um, for the sake of time we yes. can do other things. Right. So, uh, so t- for tomorrow and the day after, mm-hmm. we're gonna do um, a book, right? Right. So I mean, are we? It's your decision. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we will do. I will do the book, mm-hmm. and then uh, for the book, I have to prepare some images, oh. some um, some elements mm-hmm. for the for the book. Mm-hmm. So imagine, is this a book? about this brand uh, 10 years anniversary. Gotcha. So probably they have a line of different um, backpack already, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. or lines of different um, tripod already. And then uh, the backpack, maybe there are different colors, mm-hmm. different patterns, mm-hmm. different um, style, whatever. And then now we can try some um, different 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 scenario for that so so first of all because logo logo um, creating a logo um, ultimately is for the client or the brand Mm -hmm. to print it to use it right so uh, that's the most important part Mm -hmm. so depends on different client different companies some people use it some company may use it online only right 
but uh, when you, if you're selling stuff, selling physical products, so probably you have to use the logo put on the products. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So it's good to use to, to think of what products they are selling. Right. So and then you can sort of think of um, what type of logo they want. Right. So. Yeah. Um, for example, if you using the because this this company is a tripod, mm-hmm. so tripod you know is like a very skinny like yeah. thing, and then oftentimes they have to put the logo in a longer format. Oh yeah. So mm-hmm. you probably have to do a long format, yeah, uh, horizontal format, mm-hmm. so that um, they can use it on the tripod. Mm-hmm. Or the backpack, maybe they have to do it like a square format, mm-hmm. so that they have a plate of the the leather or something. Mm-hmm. They put it on the the backpack, right, right, something like that. So you sort of have to do a little bit variations, just to help them to use it. Yeah, right. So um, right now, probably we can go to um, Adobe Stock. Ooh, Adobe Stock. <laughs> Actually, before we jump okay. into Adobe Stock, it's giveaway time, everyone. Are you excited? Because I am. We'll, get, we'll wait 10 seconds and see if everyone else is excited. <laughs> so, you see these beautiful posters behind us, Mr. T hiding behind Ryan. Actually, our lovely Rob Zilla, who is in chat, although he just said BRB, so who knows if he's there. He created that Mr. T on the iPad. Very amazing. We've got Jingwei's pool party in the middle and Christine Heron's travel tags behind my head. These were all created here live in studio and they could be decorating your walls. Maybe in time for the new year. Maybe a little bit after. Who knows? Uh, So all you have to do is be active in chat. Say hello. Say uh, your favorite thing about the stream so far. Say what's up. That's your choice, really, and then we will work some Adobe magic, and we will pick a winner. Ryan will reveal the winner once the magic has been done. (laughs) Everyone is so excited. I saw someone in chat as actually a previous winner, and he was saying that he had received his, so I'm so Mm. glad to hear that. If you don't win this time, you have two more chances to win today, and then tomorrow and the next day will be even more chances. Look at these people in chat. They're so hype. (laughs) <laughs> yeah they're nice printed out full size very good quality <laughs> oh ryan yes i hope they do decorate your wall eventually because you are our tried and true friend you're always here thank you there's another person named ryan oh <laughs> you thought i was talking also about you <laughs> also our tried and true friend ah all right, Adobe Magic, how's it going? How's it brewing over there? Adobe Magic is getting there. What's up, Daniel? Hello. <laughs> Keep it going, chat. You can still enter if you haven't entered yet. All you need to do is say something in the chat. Ooh, Munir, you need frames for yours. Good luck with that. All right, the Adobe Magic is scrolling across the screen. Would you like to announce the winner? Um, <laughs> how do you pronounce it? Marcus, Marcus yeah. Schrantz. Schrantz? Schrantz. Marcus, you are the winner of these three lovely posters. Congratulations. A- yay. <laughs> Adobe Live team will be in touch with you, so nice. make sure to check your Behance messages. And there you go. Kathleen, can you move to the side for a sec? I'll just be over here for the rest of the stream. (laughs) They're awesome, right? Especially when you can see the whole thing. Amazing. So, uh, Marcus, congratulations. Thank you so much for being here. And everyone else, thank you for being here. Also, you have about 30 more minutes to submit your holiday greeting cards. Uh, We have a lot of awesome submissions so far. I've been taking a peek at them. We'll maybe look at them in a couple minutes just to get a little taste test as to how they're going. And uh, so make sure you submit them. Go to the contest tab at be.net slash live for more information. All right, back to the show. Back to Adobe Stock. It's enough of me. So Adobe Stock. I love Adobe Stock. 
so we can find some um, images about, for example, tripod. Hmm. Can try maybe just maybe we look at some. Ooh, so what are you oh, looking for sorry. specifically? What so would make a good image? A good image. So it depends on um, different. What kind of? Um, I'm sorry. <laughs> what happened? Okay. Calm down, Adobe stock. Yeah. So a lot of them, there's a white background. Mm -hmm. It would be very good for um, catalog pages. Mm -hmm. Um, this lifestyle, um, it's not life, but uh, it's more in the um, outdoor. Yeah. It's good for um, um, maybe the home, um, for a website, maybe good for home page, mm -hmm. for the first page. Oh, nice. The hero um, um, uh, image. And then you can, it's very draw, draw your attention a lot. Definitely. And then um, this way, uh, like maybe good for explaining you know different feature of uh -huh. the tripod yeah you know you can write stuff and then pointing out here and mm -hmm. maybe you have uh, one two three four and then you have one two three four here and yep. explaining mm -hmm. different feature that kind of thing so um maybe you can try mm. so many options yeah <laughs> see So imagine these are like the logo, okay, right? The logo like this big. Mm -hmm. so and the boring. image should be pretty high res. If you actually buy a license, the mm. image should be high res. But if you just want to preview it in your document, you can uh, save a preview, put it on your document. It will have a watermark on it. But straight from Illustrator, you could license it, and you will immediately get that high res image, which is pretty cool. So maybe you can try. Maybe you can try this one. Save a bit viewers. Mm -hmm. Maybe I don't know. Turn on the computer. Boom. Yeah. Quick. That quick Wi Fi. You can put it here. Nice. Then okay, you can try. So, like, we're thinking about a long format. Mm. So maybe, maybe you can think about putting, putting like um, let's change it to white. Hmm. <laughs> Getting crazy up in here. There you go. Is there a reason that you designed it in black and white first? Um, I think it's um, is is very is 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 there a reason? I, I think it's not. Um, it's very important to do it in black and white first mm -hmm. because um, anything if you the colors always kind of affect how you look the yeah, symbol. Right or the layout or whatever, the composition. Mm -hmm. So the colors, um, for example, I put, um, for example, if I use like um, pink color mm -hmm. and then you compare it to the black, you can sort of feel like have two different feeling yeah. and also the since the pink color is very close to the white color mm -hmm. and you can see the shape that um, clearly right so black and white you have a high con contrast right and then you know um, you can see the shape clearly mm -hmm. you can see the proportion and then all these things so I always do the design on black and white first 
as a, a for logo design, mm -hmm. black and white first, and then finishing the logo, and then jump to the color and then do color exploration. Right. So um, we're getting into the color a bit. Cool. Yeah, you say great. If it works in black and white, then it will almost always work in other ways too. Yes. Yes. So maybe we can try these. It's kind of long format. We can try, um, try like um, is the shape in front of it? Shouldn't be. Black color. Maybe you can try these. And then maybe you can try adding. This is reminding me of something. I don't know what, maybe North Face? The black and the white, it's similar to the North Face logo. Yeah. Like the arches. So, North Face, and also, if you heard of New Era cap? Mm -mm. The, the, the baseball cap Oh brand. yeah, mm -hmm. uh, It's a very famous brand. Mm -hmm. So. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, same so feeling. So they're like black and white. Mm -hmm. Or like they try different color. Right. So later we try different colors. We can try one. There's so much exploration that goes into this. So, so we still need more exploration. I'm gonna try black. So that's how usually I start doing mm -hmm. the long format. Play around shapes. Circle, maybe you can try circle shape. Oh, interesting. So, maybe you can try maybe too much circle. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I have to try it. You don't know unless you try it. Yes, for everyone in chat that's wondering about the contest, we got about 15 minutes left until we start looking at them. Uh, so that is when the deadline will be. Oh, that's cool. Uh, 15 minutes, and if you can't get it done during this stream, not to worry, you have two more streams today that you can submit for. So don't, don't rush yourself. It's all right, you have time. So there, uh, and also maybe we can try, because just now we try, Golden ratio, right? Mm-hmm. You can try golden ratio. So 
Mark, that's exactly what it's supposed to be. It's supposed to look like an igloo. I'm glad that you caught on to that. Think about the size. Jose the contest. We have a contest during every stream. This week's theme is greeting cards. So if you go to be.net slash live, click on the contest tab, the template and all of the rules are there for you. So you have about 15 minutes left to enter or you can wait till the later streams to enter. Hmm. I'm not sure right now. <laughs> That's all right. You don't have to be so, sure right now. <laughs> uh, we have to I have to do some more exploration, but... Mm -hmm. Chat, any ideas, any thoughts? I'm sure they would be happy to share their opinions. So what are you thinking so far? Any favorites? I like the... So far, I like... I like this. It's not bad. Mm -hmm. This one. Yeah, simple. It's not bad, simple. And probably have to do more spacing thinking about the spacing and yeah. too much um checking or printing mm -hmm. um so probably have to think more about the sizing or not mm -hmm. i'm not sure and also we could if i match it um, match it with the baseline right too small i don't know yeah it's hard also because we don't know exactly how big the tripod's gonna be. Yes. So it's hard to tell. Yes. So, mm -hmm. um, and also maybe very hard to see it. Actually, cool. <laughs> ah, yeah. We can try. This is what the reference is here for. So we can try. Oh, nice. Mm. Not bad. Not bad. You can try. I, I kind of like. So sort of like this also. Mm -hmm. With a thing. This sort of separating the logo and the background. Yep. I don't. I don't hate it. Right. I don't hate it. <laughs> so, maybe you can try one. This. So you're thinking of choosing a different color for that background? Oh, an outline. Outline. Mm. And you can try different color also, yeah. So maybe you can try mm, red. Yeah, red could be cool. Oh, Stuart says you could also rotate the type. So it's still vertical, but it's um, the orientation is also vertical. That'd be cool. Yeah, we can try. We can try mm -hmm. that. So like, so like this, right? Rotate. Does it do it that way? Try. 
Oh uh, yeah, you'd probably have to select everyone individually. each. <laughs> oh, nice. Does it go well? Yeah. Magic. Thank you, Adobe. <laughs> Thank you for the magic. You can try it. Yeah. Yay, Stuart, he likes that. Nice. <laughs> Thank and, you. Uh, yeah. And as for the type not being spaced correctly, um, that will come later, right? You'll take a little more time and figure out the tracking and the kerning yeah. for everything. Yeah. It's all good. It'll get done. The spacing is not ideal right now. <laughs> Ooh, Lorian likes the red background. Very cool. So we can do, you know, tons of different versions. Mm -hmm. then we can Infinite try. number. So, or maybe we can find another images, mm -hmm. which um, maybe a close up right. of the tripod. Right. Be see easier, and also maybe. If they have an actual product, we can try it on the uh, yeah. actual product. Because mm -hmm. the uh, tripod is in a, like a in the shape. Yeah. So that means the logo will be a pilot on here and then kind of curved. Yeah, a little curved, which is good because the logo is a little curved. So that should yeah. be okay. <laughs> it should be okay if it's, yeah. if it's the cylinder is not too small. Mm -hmm. If it's like wider, it should be okay. Right. So. All right, y'all, 10 more minutes to get your projects in. We're opening them up as they come in. Sound good? In about 10 minutes, we'll start looking at the, the greeting cards. Okay. Cool. Yeah, nice. Yay. So um, after doing the tripod, we can also think about um, this as a you know, backpack. Um, backpack. Um, Plate, mm -hmm. I don't know, is, is it called plate or something? Yeah. The the thing to put the old logo on top of the backpack. Mm -hmm. So we can try. Maybe we can do. Let's see. Oops, okay. There'll be. No, backpack. Nice. Ooh, Kalani, that's awesome that you submitted your project. We got it. Can't wait to look at it. And Ray, this website is Adobe Stock, so just stock.adobe.com for all of your reference needs. Oh, cool. So this, this one, I like this one because it's have a, um, or like a backpacker, like hiking feeling. Yes, definitely. So you can store a lot of things. Uh, we can try this. So, so this one is just testing. Mm -hmm. Maybe we can try other. So, do you think this would be like printed on the backpack, or maybe sewn on, embroidered on? Yeah, it could be any anything. Anything we be, want. Yeah, and it could be. <laughs> And then we can try different angle. So angle it a little bit. Did you see? Hmm. Awesome, Laura. We have your submission. Glad to have it. Laban, if you want to submit for a different stream, you're welcome to. There's two more today that will be giving away a Creative Cloud membership, subscription, and then two more sh or two more days of streams. So it's like ten more chances to win. Is, is it this one? Let me see. Oh, yeah, free one. Yeah, this one. Oh, there you go. So we can try. Yeah. <laughs> it 
Where are you going? Nice. I've actually never used the uh, free transform tool in Illustrator. I usually use it in Photoshop. This is cool. Yeah, sometimes it helps because um, um, I am in an uh, um, architectural company. Mm -hmm. And oftentimes we do. You get it right. Oftentimes we do uh, vector files. Mm, yeah. And then we have to put the vector file directly on the wall. wall oh, graphics, right, right. On the wall. And then we just use it in Illustrator because a lot of things we do, they have to be print a large size. Right. So we have to do um, vector files. Mm -hmm. So we have like angry, whatever. Um, well, Photoshop, it have a, it can go really big. Yeah, it can. And the, and the file is like really big also. Yes. So, um, and it needs specific, because uh, if you print on the wall, it needs 300 DPI. Mm -hmm. And the file will be crazy great. Yes, right? huge. So, uh, vector file is always the thing that we use mm -hmm. on big size. Yeah. Uh, for, the, for the initial stage. And then later on, maybe we can change it to other things. Mm -hmm. If there is a painting or something, um, probably be, um, other designer will have to use Photoshop. But mm -hmm. if not, we just mostly use regular file. Very nice. We'll see. Okay. Oh, Natasha, welcome. Hope you had fun at your holiday party. Uh, Ryan is working on the logo for his fictional camera accessories company. And then for the next two days, he'll be making an actual editorial design, kind of a book celebrating the 10 year anniversary of this fictitious company. So make sure you stick in, stick around uh, tomorrow and the next day too. Got five more minutes to submit your greeting cards. In chat, who has submitted? Let us know, let us know what we can look forward to. Cool. Hmm. Maybe. So maybe we can change the color. Mm hmm So so like color of you know red or something. Mm hmm Green or whatever. So we can try different color. Maybe. So in a weird, weird. <laughs> hmm. so um, maybe before coming to this stage when we, we think of uh, the color right we can do some uh, color exploration right so colors oftentimes when I do a color exploration we do we found, I found different images mm -hmm. online um, let me see Wow, look at all those folders. So I've been looking to... The different images on the Adobe stuff. Mm -hmm. So there are different colors. So for example, I like this color, or like maybe this. There it is. So we can try different colors. This. So taking colors from those reference photos? Yes. Cool. Yes. Or some people may do, um, may Google it, Google um, some maybe um, Adobe Cooler. Mm -hmm. Or yeah. there is some other website, um, um, Color Palette, something like that. I'm right. not sure, I don't remember the name, but if you search um, color palette, you probably find a lot of websites mm -hmm. about that. So, this is a reference, let's say. Yes, it is color.adobe.com. It used to be called Cooler, and actually, you can find color within Capture CC, which is a mobile app that you can download. Uh, it's both Android and Apple products. So, you can download it. You can even take a picture in real life and grab color palettes from it. It's personally my favorite mobile app. If you haven't checked it out, you definitely should. It's Capture CC. And it's free. Oh, very cool. I like those colors. Very natural. So, kind of, 
you can pick any color you know in the picture and so sort of like this one or maybe maybe this this color so sort of figure out what kind of color you like mm -hmm. oh Fevin is wondering what font you used so this font is called I have it uh, in my in my desktop mm -hmm. I have a desktop home so I think it's called I wrote it down <laughs> let's see if we can find it in the presentation in the presentation I found it so it's called let me see here so it's called Galano Galano, Galano Grotesque. Grotesque yeah there you go so I have this phone and my desktop so mm -hmm. this is my 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 unfortunately my laptop is broken oh no and um, so that's why I have to borrow their uh, computer mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, so and I don't have the font with me darn so um, and also uh, Adobe have have their fonts um, the type yeah type kit type kit yeah mm -hmm. so it also have a lot of fonts yes yeah, so if you haven't checked out type kit uh, if you have a CC subscription you can download free <laughs> that's funny free type kit uh, apps or not apps sorry typefaces you can use them on the web or just for print depending on what you need it for very cool and I also want to let you guys know that the contest is over so all of the submissions that have been submitted so far thank you so much we'll look at them in just a second and if you're still working don't worry about it um, continue working and submit it for the next stream Ooh, so maybe we can pick one more image and look at the colors and then we'll look at some greeting cards. Does that sound good? Okay, okay. Are you ready to look at some greeting cards? Are you getting hype to get your moment in the sun? If you have submitted, we'd love to look at them. <laughs> All right, Stuart, thank you for being here and hope to see you in another stream. Cool. All righty. So you can probably see on the screen better, but you can also look over here. This is the first submission. There is a template that they mm. gave, so a lot of the cards are going to look similar, um, and the viewers could add images, add illustrations, do whatever they needed to do to make their best greeting card. So here's one, dear nice. friends, happy holidays. Nice texture in the background. Mm -hmm. Very simple. cute, yeah. Very simple. Mm -hmm. nice. I like that a lot. It looks like there's another also. Mm. Cool, nice job, Nabila. I love how the um, cord turns white and then goes to black depending yeah. on the background. Little details, very nice. All right, this looks like the cover. Nice. Oh, very cute. Sensation of color. Mm -hmm, like mm -hmm. And then there's the back. Mm. Nice job. On to the next. Whoa. Very festive. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. This is a, a card to Adobe Live Team. Adobe Live Team wishing you and your family all the best. <laughs> From Mark T. So nice, Mark T. Thanks for sending that. Alrighty. Ooh. Mm. This is cool, like a pine cone. Nice. Bye, Matthias. Color. Yeah, me too. Very calm. And I think this might just be templates. So the front one. Very nice by Samuel. Nice job, Sam. Oh, cute. Hmm. Full-blown illustration. Yeah. It's by Raj Deep. 
I love kind of the glow effect around the That's snow. The moon. Is it the moon? Yeah, the moon. Yeah. Very stylized. Yeah. Nice. Oh, this is cool. Mm, nice. Mm-hmm. Wow. I wish you the merriest Christmas Style. and the happiest and most fulfilling new year. It beats. Nice. That's by Armando. And Armando, I think you won last week. So congratulations on that. This looks like a Christmas sweater. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, nice. And they're stalking. They have a one-year <laughs> Creative Cloud subscription. Stay creative. I love that. Hmm. Cute. This is by Dana. Thank you, Dana, for submitting. Happy holidays from the Brady Bunch. Nice. Mm. Wow, there's so many different... Oh, this is for us. Dear Ryan and Kathleen, oh, happy you. holidays. <laughs> happy holidays, Dana. <laughs> so many different iterations. Great job. Yeah. This is almost like a New Year's celebration. Very cute. Great job, Dana. Wow. <laughs> I love this one. Annie, so cool. Wow, cool drawing. Mm -hmm. So this reminds me of like a Dr. Seuss drawing, but I don't know if it actually is. Tell us about this, Annie. Very cute. Hmm. This looks like the front cover of the card. Oh, nice. This is by Kalani. Happy holidays. And there's the inside. Nice. The world may be frightful, but good design can at least make it look delightful. <laughs> Very nice, Kalani. Love that. Very funny. This one's by Laura. Happy snowy Christmas. Wow. Oh, there's so many. Feliz Navidad. Very cool. Whoa. Wow. <laughs> it's a cute image. Yeah, cute decoration. Dear Adobe Live team. Oh, so nice, Laura. Thank you for submitting that. This one's by Mohan. Cute, very bright. Yeah. Ooh. Wow, it's like a whole, dear Ryan Lau. <laughs> this is to you. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Here are the I mean, details. Awesome. Yeah, right? <laughs> Here are the details about the places that you are going to visit in your holiday. Hope you like wow, it. Nice. So he's planning your trip for you wow. since you haven't planned it yet. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Whoa, it's a world travel. <laughs> That's awesome. Thanks for planning his trip for him. Wow. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> nice job, Mohan. Alrighty. Ooh. Happy holidays from Billy. Don't forget to RSVP to my Kwanzaa party. <laughs> nice. T-shirts are still available on his website. 20% until the new year. Little promo code action. Very cool. Oh, this is cool. Mm. I wonder if they used the rotate all that you showed. Yeah, maybe. That little tool. Very cool. Mm, oh, nice. cute. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. Very nice. And I think that's all of our submissions. Let me make sure real quick. Well, it looks like we'll have two left over for the next stream to look at. So sit tight on those. Ryan, do you have a favorite or like a couple favorites that we could pick from? Mm. We'll take a quick peek through them. Yeah. So if you like one, tell me and we'll put it to the top of the pile. Mm. This is the one that look like that. Very festive. This one's by Sam. Raj Deep, super cute. I like, I like this one and the previous one. I had like. Okay, cool. Similar, so. I'll add both of those to the top. Alrighty, cute. Mm -hmm. By Dana. I like this one also. I do too, as an illustrator. Yeah, I'm yeah, a big yeah. fan. <laughs> I love the illustration. Mm -hmm. By Kalani. By Laura. Mm -hmm. Very cute. Mohan, he planned the whole trip for you. Yeah. <laughs> really <laughs> nice. This one's pretty amazing. This one's cool though. Yeah? Okay, mm. we'll put that to the top. Yeah. Alright, so okay. here are our top four. Now we've got Armando. We've got Annie. Mm -hmm. We've got this one. I'm not sure who this is by, but we can check in the file. And then we've got Rajdeep. Mm. 
Moment of truth, everyone. Which one will Ryan pick? Hmm. <laughs> yes, Wani, it's a hard choice. I agree. A hard choice. <laughs> um, I'll pick this one. Awesome! Annie, congratulations. Annie, all so the way from cool. Sweden. You Sorry. are the winner. Yes. Very cool illustration. Yeah. Um, you are the winner of a year of Creative Cloud. So congratulations. Don't worry if you already have a Creative Cloud subscription. This will just stack on top of that. So make sure that you're checking your Behance messages and uh, Adobe Live team will be in touch with you. Sound good? Yay, everybody in chat is so excited for Annie. Congratulations. Yeah, She's excited. Very good drawing. Yes, awesome. Annie, maybe you can tell us a little bit about the process of this. Uh, how did you go about making it? Looks like maybe you used Photoshop to do the painting. Mm -hmm. Let us know. <laughs> <laughs> Tyrone, I've got to retire now. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> awesome. Cool. So maybe we can hop back into what you've been working on, Ryan, and you can talk about what you've done today. So so far. Uh, so far, um, work on the logo mainly. Mm -hmm. And we work on the. We haven't worked on the tight. The the work mark. Mm -hmm. So I didn't do much about the, the fonts. So the spacing's not terrible. Yeah. Uh, but it's very hard to see it in this direction, which we, this, right? Oh, see I've it. never seen that before. So cool. it actually might help you look at the size, uh, the, 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 the checking. Mm -hmm. So like, oh, maybe this. So it helps you because uh, oftentimes we look at we, the type. Hmm. So what exactly are you looking for? Just for it to feel right, or yeah. are there certain rules that you like to follow? So also, um, is kind of complex because <laughs> yeah. uh, it is an overview of um, everything more like spacing and you also also taking care of the you know because certain letter like a and L, mm -hmm. and there's always a big gap here right always mm -hmm. and then oh you have to sort of think of this spacing mm -hmm. and then inside they have a, a space inside mm -hmm. this so you have to sort of have a good make it feel good yeah just gotta feel good yeah <laughs> And then over time, it's, it's very hard to look at it at the first time. Mm -hmm. Have to do it, and then we probably have to look at it further away. Mm -hmm. Maybe, maybe, or maybe you have to tweak something. Right. Bit. I'm not sure right now. <laughs> it's hard. It's, it's a lot of pressure to too. <laughs> LA, and it's always have this gap yeah. going on. Mm -hmm. Let's hear it. So I have to do. So roughly, there's more in depth. And oh, so. Annie shared her story on how she came to do her illustration. Ooh. So you just bought an iPad Pro and used Adobe Sketch, that's also one of my favorites, and transferred it to InDesign. You love illustrating monsters, so no mm. inspiration was used. Uh, thank you. You're so welcome, Annie. Thank you for submitting. Thank you, everyone else who submitted. Uh, that was a hard decision. Yeah. And you'll have to do it two more times over the next two days. So get <laughs> oh <my> ready. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, it's tough. So, um, so I don't have too much differences. I always have some differences. Oops. So that's usually have to. I should have to print it out to see. Mm -hmm. It's very hard to see it here. And also. Right, that would, that's what, um, who was saying it? James in chat was just saying that you could measure a square like that and make sure they're all balanced. He said it might be helpful to do that since this is so small. Yeah, so 
have to also think about um, logo. We have to do a lot of different, do more in depth thing. Um, analyzing the spacing, right? Um, while you do other, let me see. It's okay. This is something that I don't know a lot about, so I find this very interesting. So I have to think about oh, is this space too much? Mm -hmm. And then I have to think oh, this space is it too much? And then I think uh, click left, right. And then I have to make this a little bit bigger. Mm -hmm. Feels better, right? So this part is close, so I have to move these. Oh, interesting. So wow, I've never seen it done like this. I am very intrigued. And also. Uh, usually I use like arrow on mm -hmm. the keyboard mm -hmm. and then I think you can set up the arrow oh like the increment on which it moves yeah how much it's moved mm -hmm. okay. yeah I think it's in preferences preferences like under yeah. illustrator CC yeah oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. so I think in... Tyrone and Laura don't give up keep submitting I really appreciate all the submissions Awesome. You can try um, maybe, I don't know, other thing. Oh, Command K is the shortcut. Gotcha. Wow. Chat, That's, you are so smart. You guys know more than me. <laughs> yeah, a lot of things I'm, I'm still learning, so. Yeah, that's fair. A lot of times I have to struggle a lot with yeah. these things. I think everyone in chat, and myself included, could say, we're still learning. Yeah. <laughs> can't learn it all. <laughs> so, for now, just try these. Mm -hmm. We can try, um, just now try different colors, picking colors from actual photos. All right. And then um, the green, there's different green here. You can try a lighter green. Right. I really like that light blue. That white on the light blue. This one? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Attracting I like my it. eye. I like it also because it's half a feeling of the icy mm -hmm. eye feeling. Because mm -hmm. uh, it helps you um, try to. I'm thinking because uh, color is kind of like um, also have to tie with the creative right. brief. Mm -hmm. So uh, I see. This one is not bad because uh, it gives you a sense of um, cold. Definitely. And then give you a sense of this brand uh, can withstand um, um, that situation. Definitely, so it belongs in the cold. Yeah, even in your in a, uh, a tough situation like North Pole, South Pole, you can still use your camera mm -hmm. equipment maybe. Yeah. So it's, it's not bad, and also we can try. It maybe. Oh, someone was asking what kind of tablet do you use? Is that a Wacom? Uh, Wacom, yeah. Cool. And what what uh, model is it? Uh, I think it's a medium size. Cool. Uh, I think it's, I have it a while ago, sorry, a year. Probably, uh, is it the 4 generation? I'm oh. not sure. I don't remember. Mm -hmm. Like the um, 4, the Pro, maybe? Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. I don't quite remember. Mm -hmm. um, nice. And also, you can try different colors, like different colors on these. Mm -hmm. um, That's nice too. All those greens. You can try like a, another type of blue. Maybe. Ooh, a little bit of depth. I like so that. Here you can maybe. So. So. Maybe here you can try, I don't know. 
Oh, I like that burnt orange color. It's, it's yeah. very rugged also. It's really very pretty. Mm -hmm. Since from the sky, maybe we can pick some color nature. Yeah, like stone and sky. It's not bad also. Nice. Chat, you have about five more minutes with Ryan for the day. So if you have any more questions about uh, visual communication or his experience as a, as a designer, editorial design, send them on over. We'll try and get to them before he's gone. So, um... Hopefully you guys will like the way I'm talk because I'm from Hong Kong, so I have accents. No. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so uh, hopefully you guys understand. No, I think you're speaking uh, really well. Yeah, thank you very much. Mm -hmm. So maybe you guys can give me some thought on the colors. Yeah, let's see. Chat, what do you think? I like the blue one. Um, oh, like the green one. Mm, um, James says he likes the orange choice also. The orange choice, like... Yeah, that one. one. I think that's a very trendy color. Yeah. For 2018. <laughs> you have a feeling of the leather or like... Oh, um, yeah. Um, mm -hmm. um, wood. Or wood or dirt, dirt soil. Mm -hmm. Christopher says you're very easy to understand. Don't worry. <laughs> thank you, thank yeah. you. Yeah. Thanks, chat. Thanks for being so kind to Ryan. Like we said at the beginning, this was his first live stream. Yeah. But it will not be his last. <laughs> you got two more this yeah, week? At least. Mm hmm. Yeah, at least. <laughs> Definitely. Uh, Justin calls that hipster orange because it's so trendy. Thank you, chat, for staying around with us. Make sure you stick around. Next, we've got Mode coming in to, I think, rebrand a real life fitness company. He's like, more or less, more or less. <laughs> um, excited to see that. We've got about four more minutes left, so send over those questions. People are wondering, um, you said you did this part-time, like what you do for your day job, or um, if you want to design full-time? Um, right now, I'm in a small company. Mm -hmm. um, uh, basically, there's already um, designer design um, the branding mm -hmm. before me, mm -hmm. so I'm like a in-house designer. Mm -hmm. So I d help. I'm basically reusing the style guide that the previous designer set up. Right. And I'm using the logo, using um, um, the colors, mm -hmm. using their fonts, using uh, most of the thing that already set up. And then I'm helping them to create something more because they have been seeing the same thing oh, yeah. a lot of time. Mm -hmm. So just creating more, maybe refining the branding, mm -hmm. refining mm -hmm. um, uh, new packaging or like new uh, stuff. I don't know, uh, marketing materials. And gotcha. Stuff. Very cool. So um, that's my part-time job. Mm -hmm. And other than that, I uh, pe before I take I, I took some freelance. Uh -huh. I help some uh, companies uh, do some logos mm. and also help them do some uh, style guide for the logos. Gotcha. Um, um, yeah, basically it. Cool. Uh, oh, and also I do, uh, probably you guys may be interested because I work in an uh, architecture company, mm -hmm. uh, which is uh, a little bit different from um, graphic, usually graphic designer yeah. do. Yeah. Um, um, that company is called uh, Gensler. Or you can read the description. Gotcha. Description. I don't know. Maybe. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so you can see it uh, in the Gensler. It's a uh, architecture company. Mm -hmm. So because this is an architecture company, so I'm in the branding department. Mm -hmm. uh, I work on. Uh, we work on. Our team work on um, a lot of things related to. Architecture, very cool. So like signage, wayfinding, mm -hmm. uh, wall graphics. Yeah. So we we have to um, look at a lot of uh, plan, like floor plans. Oh, floor plans. So we, for example, a mall. We have to uh, look at um, the mall floor plan, and then thinking that um, this is a, um, a a place, a spot that people are gonna make a decision mm -hmm, mm -hmm. where they're gonna go to uh, um, maybe a unique, uh, uh, some restaurant or yeah. go to the other side for a clothing brand or whatever. Yeah. So, yeah. 
So it's very interesting. Yeah. That company. Maybe we can talk more about how yeah. that's different tomorrow. Yeah. Um, we're gonna sign off here for the morning, but stick around. We've got more designers coming up right after this. Everyone, say goodbye to Ryan. We'll be back tomorrow. Thank you so much thank for you, being thank here. Thank you, guys.